Machado, good to see you. Good to see you back in the championship. Tell us about the team and your hopes for 2010. Yeah, this is a uh, high everybody for us. This is our second test for sure because we didn't have anything, any uh, winter time test. So this is our second time on track this time. And Portima was our first touch. So the bike is really different from my old Kawasaki, but I think we're getting better. And uh, the setup, we are fixing some problems and going on and on and on, step by step. Not in Portima we had 7th uh, place in uh, uh, Super Bowl 1 and it was amazing, maybe maybe too much. So now we, we are trying to reach the, the slowly the top. Now just to explain to your fans, this is so hard because everybody else has tested in the winter uh, you know, and therefore has done many, you know, many days around the track, even here at Valencia. So you really are up against it trying to compete uh, for Super Bowl uh, when you have no testing at all. Yeah, exactly. But tomorrow was really hard because on Friday we went just straight in the free practice and boom, official practice immediately was really hard. But we did pretty good. Here we, we already have a bit of uh, experience from Portimao, so we are growing up a bit. And hopefully we will get better and better and better until, you know, from uh, us and maybe Monza, I hope. And uh, the team is working really good. Everybody's new. The bike is new for me and for them. So we, we're doing a good job, I think. Tell me more about the bike and the team. Uh, what is the spec, first of all, compared to what else is out there? Uh, it should be something like Smurfs and Lance's bike. Uh -huh. uh, we, st um, we don't have the, the uh, for sure, the electronic that factory bikes have, like Cheka and Naga and Fabrizio. But we, we, we can work on a few things. Um, I'm starting to learn the bike. and uh, For sure, we, we're working on the right way because I feel better and better and more comfortable on the bike. And how do you feel being back in the championship again? Oh, it's amazing. It's been a hard winter because, you know, uh, I'm not sure about anything. And in January, my team manager and my sponsor helped me to, to do this uh, amazing thing because two months ago there was nothing here. So for me, it's uh, like a dream come true. And for all my fans uh, all around Europe because a lot of people from Europe, like, you know, I, I, I have a strange riding style, so they kind of... Kind of cool. How would you describe your riding style? Why, why is it strange? Because the first time when I went on track when I was young, I was afraid to lay down the bike. The bike was every, every time up, 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 and I was going down, 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 down <laughs> with my body because I, I was... James Whitton style. Yeah, yeah, there's something like that. So I learned to drive the bike like that, and now it's, it's good because you can feel the bike really light because it's up and you have more grip. But it's a strange uh, driving style, so it's really nice to see it from the outside. And if you get towards the end of the season, where would you hopefully take this package? Where would you expect to be? The package of the potential to get to the top 10. So hopefully we will get there in mid-season, after the maybe the, 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 the stop. So for now, um, from this race I would like to go on points, and we will see. There's no, no limit.